And one thing I want to talk for a little bit about is what is a goal? I realized we didn't start today with that. We usually do. Who can share a goal they have in their life? Could everyone in the chat write a goal they have? This could be an inner goal, a way you want to feel. This could be an outer goal, an action you want to take. This could be something like um, building a house or finding a soulmate um, or anything in between or cleaning the garage. So there's a very big picture goal, for example, impact people's lives through my coaching practice. What a beautiful, big intention goal to publish a book of poetry, financial independence, completing my BCC, building a business, making a difference, make a difference. So now look at whatever you wrote or thought about as your goal and see if there's some sub goals in there. Let's make it even smaller. So what would be a first step? And sometimes we'll really do this with a client to refine their goal into something that they can get more resourceful about in the coaching session that day. Um, and, and sometimes that's an entire coaching session, taking a big mission and finding what are three action items, places to start. Now, what'll often happen with a goal is that here you are looking at your goal like, oh, I love my goal, it's such a great goal. I'm so happy I have this goal. And then boom, stop. Suddenly there's a really big obstacle in the way. I love my goal, but I just can't take that first step. Or I'm very afraid that if I actualize my goal, something else will fall apart. Like if I do fulfill my mission to help others, I will lose the people closest to me. Or if I do write that book, people are going to know me at a level I'm not ready for. People, people have all kinds of resistance and obstacles show up. And that's what we're here for, to help them with. Not just to get more empowered and find resources, but to also find a way to be loving and kind and helpful to oneself to heal obstacles. And often a healing of an obstacle is the kind of transformation that can feel like a freedom, a letting go, a sort of um, um, softening or, or strengthening. So many different descriptions of it. And I'm very kinesthetic. So that's how I kind of experience that someone else might you know, say it's like a light bulb going off or it's like removing my cape. I've heard that. That's, it was just like taking off like something very heavy that was on, on a person or feeling the heart just open and expand or knowing that they had the energy. So there's lots of different ways people experience that kind of inner transformation. And what we do in this session is that we work through these different steps. We're so full of steps, but like I said, the steps are not so important. You're allowed to forget the steps and trust your intuition and go with your guide. For the sake of practice though, we've got this notebook, we've got a practice partner. We can look at our notes and we can learn the steps and then we can forget them. So just know that it's good to learn it and then let it go when you need to let it go. So elevation is step one. And the way we're gonna do elevation today in just three to five minutes is to get all the details about an experience a person loves, like riding their bike, kayaking, taking a walk, reading a book, planting a garden, working on their car, playing with their dog, whatever it is, we're going to get into the details of what they love to do. And this is what we call elevation. You can, I could have many names. Um, and, and we gave, I gave you little examples and kind of like a little script there. Um, I also made a shortened script for you at the end of this notebook to make it easier when you're practicing, so you know. And then we're gonna look at what is a goal, but to make practice today easy for everybody, write down a goal that you're gonna bring to your coach today as a client. So you know your goal already, just write it down. So coach and client are not searching for a goal today. Because just like if you're working with a client and let's say you're on session three, you'll already know what the goal is that they're working with. Could be an inner goal, an outer goal. By outer, I mean like an action taking, something that's going to be achieved in the world 
or it could be an inner goal, a feeling, a state, a kind of connection or relationship. So we might want, we might, we don't always want to look at how the goal will help them, how it'll help other people. That's basically to help the client really align with their goal and understand how important it is. That creates kind of healthy inner leverage to know why and how that goal will, will improve the, the client's life or other people's lives, really going to what creates meaning and purpose. Um, and then we'll explain that we're gonna do a process today for empowering that goal through finding resources and accessing creativity and flexibility. So then we, we, find, we help the client find the resources towards their goal. And today we're gonna to be using metaphors as resources and more inner resources. And we might go into the somatic experience in the body. We might use the imagination. We might use relationships. We don't know what the client will find as a resource. So we're gonna trust the client here. That, and then you'll see me model that. And then often the, the client will produce an obstacle or find out what's missing for them or a resistance. And we'll work with transforming and healing that. And we give you here, this is new to the notebook team, three or four different processes um, for healing the obstacle. And um, one of them is to imagine holding that obstacle like a little sweet animal <laughs> and, and letting the animal become stronger, healthier until it can fly away. Another process is um, just filling that obstacle or resistance with a kind of positive emotion or light or experience and allowing it to dissolve or, or transform. Another option is to ask the obstacle to share the thoughts or advice it wants to give to the client and ask your client to thank the obstacle for sharing and then have the client speak back to the obstacle what, what it knows to be true and to um, you know basically say thank you, but now, now I'm okay without you. I can do this on my own. So it's like a conversation. Now, a fourth option is to um, experience the obstacle as a tension in the body and bring relaxation to the body. So there's many different tools for helping to transform the obstacle. So I'll just demo one of them today. Um, and then if there is an obstacle, sometimes there's no obstacle, then we wanna bring back in the client's resources and help them integrate and really feel those resources. Again, we're gonna be using metaphors as resources like a feeling of peace, a sense of the sense of someone that the client loves, um, an action they love to take, whatever it is that shows up as a resource. It might be the higher self. It might be the place in nature. And, and so we're going to kind of bring all those back using the imagination, the feelings, the senses, the body, and then we're gonna ask what's new now? We're gonna find out from the client what is new now. So we're on number six there. And, um, and if the client's eyes were closed, they'll open them. And then we'll brainstorm about taking actions towards their goal now. So they've just really filled up with their healthy power and their resources. And now they're gonna look at taking actions. So here on page 50 is the quick script. So we reduced that, all of that into a quick script. So if you don't have time today on your own, I want you to read through the longer practice guide before you use the quick script for your next practice. However, today for the sake of learning, it's okay to use the quick script, okay? And um, I'm gonna do my best to use my own script, which is really difficult for me but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try anyways, guys. We'll see how it goes.